Hello friends and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how you can create this cool impact effect in DaVinci Resolve and the crazy thing is it's for free. Let me show you how it's done. Okay, so I'm in DaVinci Resolve right now. This is my clip and we are going to add the effect on this clip. There are actually two ways to do it. You either can add the effect on the initial clip or you can add an adjustment clip on top and put all the effects on the adjustment clip. I personally prefer to put everything on the adjustment clips because there are effects in DaVinci Resolve you cannot use uh, with adjustment clips. So I tend to save those effects for the initial clip. Anyway, it will make sense, but uh, let's start working. So first things first, let me go and grab an adjustment clip. So in order to get the adjustment clip, you have to go to effects. It's the first on the list, adjustment clip. If you can't find it, go here on search and search for adjustment clip, okay? I'm gonna go and drag it, just put it here, just like this. We can, you know, make it longer, smaller, but I think uh, we need the effect just when the subject goes down in the water. Okay, next what we need to do is to add a camera shake effect. For this, I'm going to go to open effects over here, press on open effects and go and look for camera shake. Here it is, camera shake. I'm going to go and drag it and bring it on top of my adjustment clip. And now straight away you see that the adjustment clip was zoomed in a little bit. In order to see the effect, you have to go to inspect over here. You see if it's not toggled on, you can toggle it on. You see you've got video, audio, and under the effects, you're gonna see all the effects will appear here, okay? So this is my effect over here. In open effects, you've got camera shake. Okay, so now what we need to do, we need to go and keyframe this impact. So what I recommend you to do is to go one frame before the impact, okay? So you go and just before one frame, you can drag it frame by frame, or you can use the keyboard arrows left or right, whatever you feel comfortable with. Okay, now I'm gonna go just one frame before the impact. I'm gonna go here under camera shake, go to these diamonds over here and press on all these three diamonds, okay? So this is the motion scale speed scale and motion blur. It's nice to add a little bit of motion blur, even if there is motion blur in the shot anyway, but you'll just add a little bit, makes it cool. So everything is ready. So I want my effect to start here, right? Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, at this point, I want the camera shake to be, well, somewhere there, one to five speed. I want it quite abrupt and quite speedy as well, but I want the motion scale to be just a little bit more than the speed and just a tiny bit of blur. It doesn't have to be too much. And now what I need to do, I need to move the playhead about, let's count, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven frames is enough. Now I'm gonna go back and I don't need to press anything here because the keyframing is already working. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go and drag this to one where it was before. You can drag it like this. I think the easiest way is just to double, double tap, double click, press one, enter again, double click, one, enter, and here just drag it to zero. And let's have a look at our effect now. Boom. Okay, pretty cool, isn't it? Boom, pretty, pretty nice. And actually what you can do now, I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go here. So while we effect, you see, look at this, look at the diamonds over here. Once I go, you see this, this become red. And another cool effect is that I can go now when it's touched the first, can you see when the diamonds become red, I think it's here, right? So I've started to track from here. When the diamonds become red, what I can do, I can go and increase it if I wanted to do it more. And the speed up as well, I want to do it more. And look what's happening now. You see? So if you go to the first frame, when these ones are red, you can go and edit the effect. Let me go just a little bit more. I'm gonna go a little bit more with this. I'm gonna go a little bit more with the blur. Let's have a look again. Pretty cool. And now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go to the first frame. 
boom 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 oh here's the first frame i'm gonna go and increase my effect to just just exaggerate a little bit okay i'm gonna go and play it again so basically and now if you want to use the same effect to the next jump what you can do you can press option and drag this to the next jump and you're gonna go just like that okay just here put a marker press m and then with the mouse just gonna go and see when the effect starts okay it starts here because i see my points here so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go and just make it smaller just like this and drag this to my mark over here and i've got the effect straight away boom boom and i can do again to the next move just somewhere there and i put another marker and i get option and drag my adjustment clip there and i've got another one i'm gonna go to the next jump just there i'm gonna go to the next jump do again option and drag the adjustment clip boom i've got another one so you see that's why it's easy to work with adjustment clips because you can just copy and paste them and you've got a very cool effect now we have a little problem here so when i put the adjustment clip of the camera shake basically it zooms in you see it zooms in just a tiny bit so what you can do you can actually go and do this and then you you sort of have the same zoom do you know what i mean so you just go and drag this the effect is only in this portion over here so i'm going to do this and the clip is going to be zoomed equally everywhere you see pretty simple let me show you again boom 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 thanks so much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it i hope you found it interesting and useful and you got some value out of it and if you did please give it a thumbs up consider subscribing it really helps the channel and it motivates me to create even more and better videos just like this thank you take care and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye bye